First question goes to Brian Hedger. Go ahead, Brian. Hey, John. Um, you know, given obviously all the news today, um, I guess just, just just your thoughts on you know uh, the trade and and just how your team responded you know today afterward on the ice. Well, I I talked to the two players, and Lani and uh, Roger Pick, and they. Uh, it's just they're really excited, so uh, uh, I'd like to get them here as quickly as possible. Um, we're thrilled. Uh, I, I'm really anxious to to work with them, and uh, uh, I was just sitting in the office trying to figure out lines. Um, yeah, so we're very excited about what happened today, and uh, you know, more importantly, right now, I I just really like the structure of our game tonight. We've been We've been a team just lacking that structure in the middle of the ice in the neutral zone. We focused on it with the video. We it's, it's been a big part of our meetings prior to the game. Uh, I thought we were much more uh, concentrated on that part of the game. Did, did the situation that you had there before the trade, did that play into that at all, do you think? I mean, did you guys need to get by that situation as what, fast situ as what, what situation with uh, Pierre Luke and not wanting to be here and, and that whole thing? I, 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 I'm like I said yesterday. Uh, I am I'm coaching the hockey team and who's on our bench. Uh, uh, we're going to coach them, and if 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 there were some struggles and continued struggles, certain things happen, and it could happen to anybody. So that uh, right on through. Uh, and, and I said, yeah, I know you guys have to ask the questions. I don't concern myself with it. I just, I'm trying to coach the hockey team to be the best it can be. And I'm not worried about any one particular individual. Did you speak with Pierre Luke before he left or no? No. Okay. okay. Next, we go to Aaron Portsline. Go ahead, Aaron. Thanks, Lynn. Thanks, John. You, we've talked in the past uh, about this team and, and how hard it is at times for this team to score goals. You acquired today a player who's one of the singular goal scorers in this league uh, of his generation. How much just does having that in your arsenal now can change the feel of this club? Obviously, it's not all on him, but you've got a guy that can score out of nowhere a bit now. Yeah, it's obviously um, he, he, he can score. And, and talking to Yarmo, Yarmo knows him pretty well. And I always talk to Yarmo about the players. That he almost says he can pass a puck too. He, he, he's a really good playmaker, and I watched some of his of the highlights of their of his last game. He's been nicked up a little bit. Uh, big part of their win in Winnipeg. Yeah, I talked to him on the phone. Yeah, he he is uh, was really good, really good conversation. Uh, we just need to not sure what it all entails as far as getting him here and getting him on the ice with the protocol and visa and all that. But we're really excited about both of them coming, Jack and him, and uh, and just the excitement that they have is really encouraging for us. You've talked in the past about Yarmo and his strengths as, as a talent evaluator. He was in a situation where I think everybody knew he had to make a deal. Yeah. He comes out with this package coming back to uh, what it would appear pretty useful parts for you. Just your thoughts on what he was able to turn from a, a pretty bad situation that needed to be dealt with to, to get this out of it. Yeah, I, I think he's very good at it. Uh, uh, I, I don't think he's afraid, you know, bringing in bread and, and all that stuff. And uh, uh, he, he, yeah, he, he is, uh, uh, you know, he got put in a hell of a spot. It, it was a hell of a spot he got put into here and, uh, that that's that's what bothers me the most the spot that he was put in he stood right in there and uh, uh, I, I talked to him a couple of times yesterday the amount of time he was putting into things yeah so we're very happy that uh, uh, he found this found the way here him and Chevy and uh, we're really excited about uh, uh, these guys coming to us you're almost not afraid of of, of trying to make his team better and and uh, putting his neck out there a little bit at times. So I, I think that's a really good trade of his. Is there a sense today in playing this game that you've got your team back? In other words, that it's all about the right things now? Well, uh, you know, I think it was an important game in where 
yesterday's workday was based on structure and uh, um, and we showed it. It, 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 it video, the, the two meetings today was basically on some patience in our game and structure. Um, as I said to you prior, you got to be really careful with the language you use when you're trying to maybe go down the other road, trying to get a little offense. Uh, you know, we're just, we were just too wide open. Uh, we really didn't have any concentration away from the puck. And that's what I'm encouraged about this. And you end up getting a result. I, I, I think it's always important for the players, especially to get a result. Coaches, sometimes you don't get the total result, but then you see some of the play and you're happy about some of the things. But players want results. So I, I think that'll double it up for us in, in how we handle ourselves away from the puck. And um, yeah, so hopefully we, we just need to gain some traction. Uh, we, we can't give up the chances we've been given and we need to gain some traction in that part of the game. Then we can explore some other stuff along the way. Thanks. Okay, next we'll go to Mark Shy. Go ahead, Mark. Thanks, Glenn. John, I know it's early in the season, but Nick's up to three goals and tied for the team lead. Are you seeing more in his offensive game thus far? I, I think it's important for Nick and where, you know, he's had some struggles scoring some goals. Any offensive player that has had some struggles uh, in, the, in the couple of years prior, uh, to get off to a good start is very good. It, 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 it's not like he's doing anything different. It, 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 I'm, I know him and I talked. It had, there had to be more concentration for him to score some goals for us. He's able to do that. He plays in the areas to do that. Um, so for him to get off to the start, I think it'll help his confidence and hopefully it'll, it'll keep on adding on as far as some of the plays he can make. And John, late in the game too, that, that penalty kill I thought was important to keep the momentum. But I know in the past you've talked about tweaks, like especially when you see a team for the second time. Like you guys were, were looked really well prepared to handle and to defend Tampa Bay's power play. Was that something that you tried to stress going into the second game? Yeah, I, I think it, 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 it comes off of checking. We, we spent a lot of time talking about checking away from the puck. Five on five checking parlays right into penalty kill and checking. It's the same type of principles. It sticks on the ice, looking for seams, all the things you talk about. It's within your whole checking game. So I think they both worked off of one another. Next, we'll go to Dennis Bernstein. Go ahead, Dennis. Hey, John, you mentioned taught, watching Patrick's video. Can you say something about a character of a player who's embroiled in the same type of controversy in Winnipeg, yet he went out, scored two goals opening night, and got the game winner, acquiring a player like that? I, I, I'm sorry, I didn't hear the end of the question. Okay, just your thoughts on acquiring a player like Patrick, who was in the same circumstance in Winnipeg, but went out and won the game for his team opening night, scoring two goals. Yeah, he played his ass off. I, 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 I watched uh, the highlights, the winner, uh, his emotion. Um, I've, I've watched him. You can't help but watch him from afar. He's such a prolific goal scorer. And so you watch other teams play, and um, he, he seems like an interesting guy. He's got some personality to him. So, uh, And just talking to him today, I really enjoyed the conversation. Yeah, so we're – you know, it's a team here that that has struggled to score some goals, and uh, obviously, uh, in this type of position, type of position we were put in, this is a really good deal for us. And uh, I appreciate all the work Yarmo did, and uh, anxious to see the guys and meet them face to face. And John, you mentioned looking at lines. How many games do you think it'll take for you to figure out the minutes you give out at center ice? Oh, I don't even know. I was, I was. Uh, so I like to get Jack in the gut of the ice. And uh, um, I was playing with him just after the game here. But, I, you know, I, I, I've, I've got to do some. I just don't know what Patrick gets here. Uh, what's Jack look like? I know he's been practicing mm -hmm. out here. Uh, I like to try to play him right away. Uh, we got to see the protocol of all this. Uh, so I was playing around with it. Uh, I don't get too involved in predicting ice time. I let the game kind of speak to me, and we go from there. Thanks, John. You bet. Finally, we'll go to Neil McHale. Go ahead, Neil. Hey, John. Um, you know, the similarities between the Dubois situation and uh, Panarin and Bobrovsky is that you got it open and out in the room with the situation now closed with Pierre Luc. Does that do something for your room in terms of how open the room is with dialogue and the kind of group that you need here? 
Well, our, our room through it, and if it was continuing today, uh, our room wasn't changing. Uh, we, uh, we, we talk about everything as a group, everything, good, bad, uh, controversial stuff. All, we talk about it as a group, so that, that wouldn't change. If Luke was still here, we'd be, we'd be going about our business the same way. It, it, we, we don't leave anything uh, for people to second guess about and wonder what's going on. We try to get it out there. And I think that's important. We're, we're a, a team. We're in that room so much together. There shouldn't be any elephants in there. We, we need to talk about things we talk about. It. I, I, I'm not sure if that answers your question, but that's how we go about it. No, that got it. Thank you. All right. Thanks, Torts.